Wait a second. 4226 Zombie Grave Way. Is this the place? Hello? Hello? Anybody here? I'm here for the maid job? Of course. No one's here. I'm in this creepy place all by myself. And Sunshine is not here yet. I told her to come meet me up here. Let me call her. Maybe she's stuck somewhere. Note to self. Why did I choose this job? This place is really creepy. Sunshine, where are you? I'm at the hotel. You were supposed to be here when I got here. <gasps> what the graham cracker? Hey, this place looks cool. Echo! Ali Ali Oxen Free! There you are. You scared me nearly half to death. Didn't have to ring the doorbell. How else was I supposed to get in? It's common courtesy. You have to ring the doorbell before you come into some place. Okay, so how long is this thing going to take? I'm just going to have a seat right here and watch you do your magic. I never would have thought in a million years I get a real job as a maid. I mean, it's enough. Everyone has been telling me I look like a maid. This is my style. I like this outfit. I like dressing like a Lolita. And I like carrying my parasol everywhere. People just don't get it. Yeah, I never thought you'd accept a job as a maid. When you actually think about it, this place is kind of cool. Sunshine, it is not cool. This place gives me the creeps. I'd say it's a pretty cool place too. <gasps> hey, I'm Zed. Zed Necrodop. Z -z 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 zombie! Polis. Zombie? Yeah, zombie! Well, don't just stare at it. Run! Oh, oh, right! <coughs> Whoa, whoa, hang on a second. I'm, I'm a good zombie. See, I've got my Z-band on. Uh, I won't do you any harm. I work here too. You must be the new maid. Some more human screaming zombie? Uh, yeah, no worries. I got this. How many times I tell you, Zed, humans don't want to be friends with zombies. There's two. How many more are there? And they're blocking the exit. I told you not to work here. No, you didn't. Well, I'm telling you now. Oh, right now it's a little too late, Sunshine. Hey, I'm Eliza. Yes, we're zombies, but we're good zombies. And we work here too. There's no such thing as a good zombie. They're just saying that so we can get close and they can eat us. Yeah, I don't think there's such thing as a good zombie. Oh boy. Uh, no, no, we don't want to eat you. Trust me, we want new people here. Yeah, we're kind of sick of seeing the same people every day. It gets boring, you know? Hey guys. Oh, new people. Hi, I'm Addison Wells. Welcome to the zombie hotel. You must be the new maid. Wait a second, you're a human and you're here with the zombies? Yeah, these are my friends. You know, not all zombies are bad. That's kind of like a made up story, you know? Some parents tell their kids that so they don't go and hang out with zombies. It's so backwards of them. So, how's your first day at work? It's okay. Uh, I can't really find anything. Yeah, well, you're going to need those supplies to start cleaning. You don't want the boss to get angry. Now, he's a scary zombie. Really? I'm just kidding. He's my dad. We just opened this hotel. He's actually a pretty cool guy. Here, let me show you where all the stuff is at. Uh, okay. Sunshine, keep a lookout. Uh, yeah, trust me. You'll, you'll be fine. Okay. Moonlight's gonna need some cleaning supplies to clean the zombie hotel. So let's help her out and make her some supplies. First up, we're gonna start with a duster. Take some white felt, cut it into strips, but don't go all the way to the edge. Then take a toothpick, cut off the pointy side, paint it brown, and wrap the felt around the toothpick with some hot glue. have yourself a working duster. 
How does a place that's just been opened collect so much dust? This bookshelf definitely needs a dusting. Ah! I love your hair. Oh, thanks. I like yours. Holy guacamole, this place is full of jump scares. Anyways, do you have any Windex that I can use to spray things down with? Windex, right over here. Follow me. To make a bottle of Windex, take air dry clay and shape it into a general spray bottle. Then paint it with some acrylic paint. I'm using blue, white, and red to make it look like a real Windex bottle. Print out a small size Windex label, put it on some packaging tape, cut off the extra, and get it on your Windex bottle. Wipe this area down. I've got so many more areas to go. I'm already breaking a sweat. These people sure are messy. Eesh, this creepy guy again. Do they have to have such creepy art? Let me spray him right in the face. Oh no, I don't like a drink, a Windex. <gasps> Did he just speak? Whoa, what's wrong? The picture up there just talked. Oh, let's count. Don't worry about him. He does that sometimes. What? That's supposed to be something normal? Okay, what's the next step in the cleaning process? Um, usually my dad likes the place to be nicely mopped. So, uh, let's show you where the mop and the bucket are. Great. I better be getting paid the big bucks for this. Don't worry, you'll get used to it. It's actually pretty fun working here. To make a bucket, I'm using a plastic container in the shape of a bucket, paint it yellow. Once the paint is dried for the yellow, paint on a caution wet floor sign with black paint. Take a wooden dowel, cut it in half, take a longer piece and a shorter piece and glue it together with some hot glue to make a handle. Then paint it yellow. Attach the handle to the bucket using hot glue. Add some details to the handle with some black paint. To complete the bucket, glue on some wheels using buttons, beads, or magnets. To make the mop, cut several five to five and a half inch pieces of twine. Once you have enough pieces of twine to make a good size mop, fold all the pieces and take another piece of twine, wrap it around to make a mop shape. Cut off the extra twine, then hot glue gun it onto a dowel. And you've got yourself a mop in a bucket. Okay, I've never mopped before. Dunk it in the water, and mop. That's not so bad. Good job, Moonlight. You're doing really good. Almost like you were made to be a maid. Ha ha ha. Very funny, Sunshine. Keep on mopping. We can get out of here. All right, what's next? Well, next up you've got vacuum duty. Mm-hmm, yep. Yay, awesome. So, where's the vacuum? Moonlight needs a vacuum. I'm using an empty Tang drink enhancer bottle. Take off the label, paint the bottle, then using two pieces of wooden dowel and a straw, we're gonna put together the hose of the vacuum. Hot glue it on top of the vacuum canister. 
Cut a popsicle stick into a rectangle. Cover it with craft foam. Then glue it onto the vacuum hose. Add some silver paint to the hose. Take an empty spoolie, cut off the top and bottom circular halves, paint silver and hot glue on to make the vacuum wheels. I'll be having this place spotless in no time. Look how clean it looks. The floor is practically sparkling. And the stairs. Ah, this place looks good. Wow, you did really good. Everywhere looks so clean. I don't think it's ever been this clean. Yeah, Eliza's right. My dad's gonna love this place once he sees what you've done with it. Hey, if you wanna stick around, I can convince my dad to give you a raise. Um, come on, Moonlight, you should do it. How often do you hear that someone works at a zombie hotel? Your job is totally unique. Yeah, and we could all hang out when work is done. It'll be lots of fun. Well, okay. I guess it is kind of cool working at the zombie hotel. Well, looks like Moonlight's got herself a new job at the zombie hotel. They also made some new friends and we've got a whole lot of cleaning supplies for the hotel. Click the thumbs up button if you guys love miniature DIY crafts and if you want to see more, subscribe if you haven't already and until next time, I will see you later. Bye for now.